NFTs once again create a giant threat to record labels. Now, instead of labels funding projects, a group of individuals can fund projects. And Blau's first single and NFT drop on platform Royal is already worth over $6 million. Live the life you love. All right, so now with the whole smart contract feature, instead of record labels owning the masters or owning you know, the master or the sound recording, now individuals could own it or they could license it, right? So they could buy a license to the sound recording and now make money off of an artist's music, right? So let's say you have 200 or 300 people that own a song, not just one record label. These people are now going to be the biggest promoters and advocates of those singles because they are can make money off it, right? So they make money off the, the streaming revenue and they can make money off the resale of that license, right? So let's take a look at this article. So shout out to my, my buddy, Lennon Seahawk from EDM.com. He's been on the podcast before, um, has his own podcast as well, uh, When Life Hands You Lennon's. But let's check out this quick article that he wrote. So uh, Blau's NFTs. So Blau owns is one of the owners of this new NFT market marketplace Royal, right? So title subject of the article is uh, Blau's NFT marketplace naps 55 million investment from the chain smokers, Kygo and more. This funding comes after a 16 million investment back in August. So the article reads Blau's NFT marketplace has received another huge cash injection just months after a 16 million investment Royal hat, which the world is the name of the platform. Royal has announced a 55 million funding round led by Anderson Horowitz, uh, 16, 16 Z crypto fund, the chain smokers, logic, Kygo, Nas, CAA. So that's one of the biggest agencies in the world, right? So CAA crush music, Coinbase ventures, founders fund, NEA's Connect Ventures and Paradigm all participated according to reports. The value of music ownership is vastly misrepresented by underval and, and undervalued today, but it's uh, but it won't be for far. Try that again. <laughs> I'm terrible at reading out loud. Uh, the value of music ownership is vastly misrepresented and undervalued today, but it won't be for too much longer as more musicians embrace the Web3 ecosystem, Blau wrote in a recent blog post, right? So just real quick, when you write a song, right? So there's two copyrights. There's uh, the, the sound recording and then there's the composition, right? And they're all se both separate things. The sound recording is the master so, and that's that the the copyright that typically the labels producers and the artists make the money from right and then you have the composition that is m pretty much just publishers and songwriters and the songwriters and artists can be two different people right so the there could be a songwriter and then an artist that performs on the song so the artist that performs on the song is on the master not necessarily also a writer right so the writer is on the composition side so for this project we're, we're looking at the sound recording, the master, um, so taking out the label, right? So as if labels hadn't had it hard enough with the, the rise of the internet, uh, when when Napster and all those platforms almost took out the, the record label world, right? They basically took the, the major labels from six down to three, and now with the rise of, of NFTs and blockchain and Web 3.0, it would be very, very interesting to see what happens to, to labels in the future and to what happens to independent creators as well, right? So uh, the article continues. Royal is a marketplace for musicians that allows them to sell the royalties accrued from their uh, songs to fans. Blau recently gave away 50% of the streaming rights to his latest song, uh, Worst Case, via Royal. These shares have since been resold for $600,000 and have reportedly given the single evaluation of $6 million. Uh, I always tell people that artists popularity is completely dependent on the fans and the listeners, not the companies and the distributors. Blau said in a, Blau said in a statement, if the fans like the music, they're shared, they share it, they go to the shows, um, they, hey, what's going on? <laughs> Someone said, what's that one on Twitch? Big shout out. Um, so if the fans like the music, they share it, they go to the shows, they're fully responsible for augmenting an artist's popularity. So why shouldn't those participants achieve upside for believing in someone's early, right? So again, yeah, and it, it's so true what, what Blau is saying in, in this blog post, right? So the fans at the end of the day, they're the ones that give give the artist the ability to, to grow in their careers, right? They give the artist the ability to gain more fans. They give the artist the they, they If it wasn't for the fans going to shows, sharing the music, the artist wouldn't exist, right? So it's amazing that, that Blau is creating a platform where artists can 
or fans can participate in the artist's success, right? Instead of these record labels and distributors. So really, really exciting stuff that that's happening there. And, you know, with that, so here's a quick look at, at Royal. Um, so that's the marketplace that the single is on, right? So I think he has, if I scroll all the way down, I think there's 200 NFTs. Um, and now we'll dig into the contract in a second too. So there is a contract that goes with it, right? So you don't actually own a, a piece of the master. It's a, just a license. Uh, sorry, is that the license word again, right? Um, so license doesn't necessarily mean ownership. So 295 copies of this, uh, this NFT or this token, right? And each token is worth 0.15% uh, ownership. And then all these collectively should add up a about to about 50 percent right um and then here is the this uh nft on open c so open c is you know that one of the marketplaces uh, so it's powered by ethereum uh, and it's currently 1.8 eth for the song so as we looked at earlier right so one eth right now is four four thousand dollars as of today so 1.8 so almost eight thousand dollars for this this one nft so is that worth it we'll, we'll take a look at that in a second as well Real quick, let's go look at the contract for for this uh, this project. Zoom in a little bit more. Just, just highlighted a few things. I'm not going to go into the, the entire contract, right? But it's a six page contract, and this just says uh, the, the assignment of the sound recording royalties. Uh, so and just the royalties, and just from streaming only, right? So now if the song gets used in a TV show, movie, film, if the song gets a sync license, you you actually don't make money off of this as the as the part owner of a sound recording, right? So that's why it's just a license. So it's a license for streaming royalties, which is really important to, to know. Um, so the assignment of sound recording royalties, streaming, this agreement is by and between Bloom LLC and each holder, and in parentheses, each, each an assignee, right? So whenever the word assignee is used, that is uh, one holder of this NFT. Um, so assignee or each holder of non-fungible token known as a limited digital asset so again limited right limited digital asset that is associated with the contract address specified on the signature page of this agreement uh bloom is the owner of 100 percent of the copyright and in and in and to the sound recording known worst case known as worst case by artist blau right so again this makes it very very clear that just because you own the nft you don't really own a piece of the song, right? You're just getting a license of the royalty. So uh, that continue on. Uh, subject to each assignee's uh, compliance with the with its obligations under this agreement, Bloom hereby assigns to each assignee 0.15 percent the the assigned share of Bloom's royalties earned after the announcement date from on-demand streaming of the recording. Right, so st streaming royalties only. Let's see, how do I get to the next page on there? All right, so this is kind of a weird, weird view. Um, let me see something real fast. Ah, that's right. Um, all right, so section three in this agreement, this one's another important one, right? So Bloom shall promptly uh, provide Royal with a letter of direction. So it's the separate entities, right? So Royal is a separate entity from Bloom that owns a song. Uh, Bloom shall promptly provide Royal with a letter of direction instructing Royal pursuant to the Royal agreement to distribute or make available the assigned share from time to time to the current assignee as determined by ownership of a token. The assigned share will be paid or claimable in the form of either USDC, a stable coin on the Ethereum blockchain issued by Circle Internet Financial Inc. or its affiliate or ETH, the native token of the Ethereum blockchain as determined by Royal in its absolute discretion. Uh, if Royal determines to pay the assigned, assigned share in ETH, the quantity shall be determined by multiplying the amount of US dollars due to each as, to such assignee's uh, assigned share by the conversion rate of ETH to US dollars at the times at the time such distribution is paid out. Right? So when that distribution is paid out, you're going to get paid in ETH or US dollars or stablecoin. And if you get paid in ETH, it's going to be whatever value ETH is at the, mo the, the moment, right? So ETH being Ethereum. Um, Let's go to section four in or article four in this agreement. Uh, the time, timing and frequency of distribution of assigned share is subject to Royal's receipt of streaming revenues from the distributors pursuant and subject to Royal agreement, right? So I'm, I'm really interested in investing in my own catalog of music, right? Where 
uh, I can make money off of uh, sh- streaming royalties and whatever. Um, and, and Royal is definitely a platform I, I have my eye on. I'm going to be looking at what other projects are going to be dropping on Royal. So I'm really, really excited about this. Uh, it's just really important to know the legal language of, the, of everything, right? So again, you don't own you don't own the, the sound recording. And there's also no, I guess, consistent payment. You don't get paid every single month. And the reason that is because artists don't get paid every month, right? So if you're getting streams from Spotify or from, from YouTube or wherever else, you're only going to get paid certain times um, at certain times, and those times are usually determined by um, each different platform and by how much money it is, right? So Spotify is not going to pay out 50 bucks, but if it's uh, whatever amount that it is, right? So whatever, if it's a specific threshold you need to hit on Spotify each month, then they'll do a payout or some platforms will only pay out quarterly, right? So you're not going to have consistent payments. So basically what this is saying, whenever Royal receives its share, then they're going to distribute it to the shareholders. Um, and in Going down to Article 6, each resale of a token by an assignee is subject to an uh, aggregate fee of 5% of the sale price of such resale, right? So if you have this NFT and you're collecting royalties on it and you want to sell the asset, and as the article mentioned uh, from Lenin, um, the, the asset has been resold a few times in the past, right? So every time you resell this NFT uh, for the Sony you're getting royalties for, then uh, Royal is going to get a 5% royalty off of that, right? I don't think there's anything else really in this agreement but those are kind of the main things in, in that agreement that i wanted to point out uh, let's get out of here and back to here and just real quick one thing i wanted to share as well right so if you're trying to figure out how much money can you make off on royalties uh if you go to blouse spotify and you just take a look at some of these songs right so here's worst case that's the song that just came out as as the nft uh it made Henry has 1.7 million sh- uh, streams um so the easy math version right so if you take every million times 4,000. So let's call it, this way has 2 million streams. So it's about to hit 2 million streams, right? So two times 4,000 is $8,000, right? And then times 0. 0.0015, because you're getting 0.15% royalties, you would make $12 off owning this NFT, right? So I don't believe this is something where you're gonna make a ton of money off of owning these, these, um, these shares of songs, but it can have potential, right? I think the biggest, potential is in the resale. So when you resale these these uh, NFTs or these tokens, that's probably where you can make your, your investment back or, or and make a profit on your investment. But you know if you get it for a really good deal as well, if you pay a really low price for an NFT, and this is Spotify only, right? So he's only that's what he's making on Spotify only. Of course, it's streaming royalties from all streaming, right? So if there's other money coming in from streaming, uh, you, there could be a higher upside potential. But it's important to know that streaming doesn't pay shit right so since streaming doesn't pay shit you're probably not going to make a ton of money owning these these tokens um so it's important to get them for a really good price and it's more and maybe the ownership will expand right so if this is successful and people are interested in investing maybe the the future of tokenizing your music right and people owning um a part of your or a Instead of people owning just a license to your music maybe now they actually do own a piece of the master right and maybe artists will ha- need to sacrifice their, their master again. Um, maybe not all of it, right? Maybe, maybe they can have control. Maybe you have 51% control, so they have complete control. And within the agreement, so one of the things that's in this uh, agreement for Royal is also that the owners of the tokens have no say, right? So they can't block the song from getting used for, uh, for, for a sync licensing opportunity, right? So if if this this whole thing involves and people can now actually own a piece of the master maybe part of that agreement is also that the artist has 100 percent final say in where the songs will be used for sync but maybe now people can get a piece of the action on the sync and i think that is where the real value is going to come for independent artists right so giving up some of your masters but not all of it like you would to a label and now the people are incentivized right by any kind of money that song brings in which um re- really exciting opportunities that can be created from that Live the life you love.